What's up creators? So today's video is going to be about fonts and how to change up the font in your application. The reason it's going to be a quick one is because I'm planning a series about building a complete production app from scratch. So the plan is we go from idea to planning to implementation and then to launching the actual application. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell and let's get into the actual video for today. So there's really only two ways that really make sense to add fonts to your app. One is to give Flutter the actual font file and use that. And then the other one is to use the Google Fonts package. So this is what we're going to try to build with two different fonts, one from an imported font and then one from Google, Google Fonts package. Okay, so here we have the base app. All it is is just two texts centered in the middle. If you watched my file structure video, you should have seen that there was a fonts folder there. So this is the directory. Let's create a folder for fonts. So then how do you get the fonts in here? If you go to fonts.google.com, there's a bunch of free fonts you can use. And let's say we want trade wins. You get it and then you can download it just like that. Once it's downloaded, you want to unzip it, extract files to, where was this located? Here, and click OK. And we should see we got two files. Not too sure what the OLF document is, but just your copy or copyright and stuff like that. So once we have it in here, we can go back to the application, go to the PubSpec YAML. You'll see down here, there's examples of fonts. If we uncomment that, and let's name this font family trade wins. If we look at the actual file, we need to put the name in here. We can do font slash trade wins dash regular. So now we have now we have the font imported. So we can go back to the main and the first one all we have to do is style text style text style font family and I think trade wins. It's not updated because we need to restart the app since we added something to the PubSpec YAML and we didn't even save it. We need to close it and then rebuild the app. So there we go. It's loaded in. You can see the font it looks different. Let's even change the font size to 30 just to make it a little bit bigger. And that's what it looks like. So the other option, we could also add Google Fonts as a dependency. So Google Fonts is a package and then you will have to restart the app also. And let's restart that, Dart Flutter, yes. And in the main, we want to do something similar for style. Instead of doing that, we will want to do Google Fonts dot, let's say, should give you some options. Pacifico, there we go. And that should launch the new app with a, the second text being a different, a different font. So there we go, I'll get loaded in. You see it's also a different font. The way we change the style even more is inside this this thing we do textile and same thing as before can't type but if we do font size 30 that should bring our font size up so why did i show you both of these well personally i like to not have to depend on i want to only depend on as many packages packages as i absolutely need to 
So if you're able, if you decided on a, what font you want, there's no reason you need all the other fonts in here. You only need that one font. And there's no reason you need this whole dependency when you could just add a font here. So what my recommendation is, when you're developing an app, you're not sure which font to use, definitely use the Google Fonts package. Once you have decided on a font, put it in one of your files and set it up as a font that lives in your app exclusively. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this code will be on GitHub. If you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you like the video. And thank you for watching.